गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लास इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस फ्यू न्यू एडजस्टमेंट रिलेटेड टू द चैप्टर अकाउंटिंग फॉर नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन In previous two videos, what we have to discuss about the non-profit organization that will be similar. But in this video, we have to discuss few new adjustment related to the chapter accounting for not-for-profit organization. So last two videos we have to discuss about the two questions. In this video, we have to discuss about the third question of accounting for not-for-profit organization. Let's we have to move to. The question number three of accounting for not-for-profit organization. So here, question number three. So here, following, following of the receipts and payments account, receipts and payments. account and balance sheet of balance sheet of union club union club prepare union club prepare So on the liability side, they are given two transaction for us. First point, outstanding salary. That is one thousand. After that, capital fund. Capital fund. So capital fund is thirty nine thousand nine hundred rupees. Let's come to our second side. Cash in hand. Value is three thousand five hundred. Books. Books. Six thousand two hundred. Outstanding subscription. Outstanding subscription. Three thousand. Six hundred furniture, furniture two thousand six hundred, furniture two thousand six hundred, furniture two thousand six hundred and buildings, buildings that is. Twenty-five thousand. So balance sheet total is forty thousand nine hundred. Forty thousand nine hundred. Forty thousand nine hundred. Forty thousand nine hundred. So this is a 
for the balance sheet. And let's we have to know about the income, sorry, receipt side, payment account. So in the next slide, we will draw the column receipts and payments account, payments account as on 31st March. 2020. So we will draw the columns for receipt side payments account. We will draw the columns for receipt side payments account. Receipts amount, payments amount. So we will write that it will be compulsory for the portion also. Receipts and Rupees payments rupees. So debit and credit also we have to write compulsory. We won't escape from that. We have to write clearly receipts as well as the payments. So under receipts and payments account, the first heading we have to write under receipt side. To balance brought down. To balance brought down three thousand five hundred. To subscription to subscription seventy five thousand. To endurance fees. Entrance fees two thousand to rent from rent from use of hall use of hall rupees seven thousand to donations. Donations ten thousand to sale of newspapers to sale of newspapers to sale of newspapers four hundred. <coughs> To life membership membership fees, life membership fees seven thousand three hundred. Seven thousand three hundred. When we come to about the payment side, by general expenses, general expenses nine hundred. By salary, salary sixteen thousand. By postage, thousand three hundred. By electricity charges, seven thousand eight hundred. By furniture. Twenty-six thousand five hundred by books, books thirteen thousand by newspapers, six hundred. 
So my dear students, you people are know very well what the information is given. First we have to read the question, later on we have to move to the solution. Following of the receipts and payments account and balance sheet of Union Club, name of NPO is given Union Club, prepare income and expenditure account as on 31st March 2020 and balance sheet as on that date. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. So last year is 2019. Present year is 2020. Future year is 2021. So here 
liabilities assets under liabilities outstanding salary is given capital fund is given when come to the assets side right? cash in hand books outstanding subscription furniture buildings next let's come to the receipts and payments account receipts and payments account has on 31st march 2020 they are given so receipt side to balance brought down to subscription to entrance fees to rent from use of hall donation sale of newspapers so life membership fees and let's come to the payment side general expenses salary postage electricity charges furniture books newspapers meeting expenses tv set balance carried on so this is given about the payment side the total of receipts and payments amount is 1,5200 1,5200 and additional information is given so here first point subscription outstanding as on date is given so 31st march 2020 that means present year subscription rupees 10000 next adjustment number 2 outstanding salary as on 31st march 2020 rupees 1000 adjustment number 3 depreciate furniture and books at 10% per annum in bracket information is given only on opening values opening values is nothing but the value which is available in the old balance sheet that is the opening value so at the receipts and payments account the same assets are given means we can imagine that is current year values or purchase values if the information within the brackets is not given means we have to calculate the depreciation both opening values as well as the opening values as well as the present year values also here the information they are given adjustment number 4 donations are to be capitalized electricity charges paid in advance of this 650 so this is the information they are given so this is the information they are given related to the information first we have to classify the transaction so in the balance sheet also some incomes will be there some expenses will be there first we have to bifurcate that one and the receipts and payments account also so in incomes as well as the liabilities are available in the receipt side and expenses and the asset should be available in the payment side first we have to divide that one later on we have to move to the steps while preparing the account ledger accounts of non for profit organization So here their information is given. Following of the receipts and payments account and balance sheet of Union Club, the name of NPO clearly they mention that Union Club. That is the name of not-for-profit organization. Prepare what we have to prepare: income and expenditure account and balance sheet. We have to prepare two accounts. One is income and expenditure account, and second one is a balance sheet. As on 31st March 2020, they they are given compulsory. We have to imagine present year is 31st March 2020 is the present year. 2019 is the last year. 2021 is the future year. According to this question, okay. So dates different dates they are given in the examination. So we have to imagine. What the date given in the balance sheet? That is old balance sheet. That is past year or previous year. What the date or year is given in the receipts and payment account? That is the present year. So if any adjustment, any extra dates beyond the date they are given, means we have to imagine that is the date of future, future date that we have to imagine. So here the information is given. Balance sheet as of 31st March 
So in the liabilities and first they are given outstanding salary. So what is that? Salary is an expenses. Last year outstanding we should deduct. We should minus. In the first video itself I have to give a note. So present year outstanding incomes will be there. We should add it. Expenses we should add it. Last year any outstanding we should deduct. We should minus. And present year pre-issued is there means we should add it. Last year any pre-issued is there means we should they are oppositely we have to treat it. Capital fund liability it is come to the new balance sheet. Cash in hand. So it won't consider. Why it won't consider me? The same cash in hand will be carried forward from the receipts and payments account with the value. So we won't consider. Books, assets, it will come. New balance sheet. Outstanding subscription, it is an income we should deduct. Why we should deduct this? Because it is belongs to 2019, not for 2020. Furniture, new balance sheet. Buildings, new balance sheet. Let's come to the receipts and payments account. In the receipts and payments account, they are given few transactions. In the receipt side, we have to know incomes as well as liabilities. Keep in your mind. Receipt side, what the transactions are available with? The transactions are incomes as well as the liabilities. In the payment side, what the transactions are available with? Expenses plus assets will be there. So we have to divide that one. So receipts and payment account is the base for preparation of the income and expenditure account. Balance brought down, we won't consider because it is carry forward. So we won't consider subscription income entrance fees. So here two points you have to keep in your mind. If it is newly started non-profit organization means entrance fees, life membership fees, and donations. These three things always we should add it to the capital fund. If capital fund is not given means these three things will be considered as a capital fund. Which are those? Interest fees, life membership fees, donations. These three things we should be considered as a capital fund means if it is newly started NPO we should consider. If it is already existing NPO means they have some capital fund for this sometimes it is represented in the or recognized in the adjustment then we should add it otherwise we should treat that one as an income. Why we should add it in the capital fund for newly started NPO means the NPO they won't have any capital. So whatever the donations, whatever the fees, whatever the pay sponsorship amount received, that is the investment, that is their capital. So we won't consider that one as an income. But already existing means they have some capital fund. So the life membership fee, entrance fee, as well as the donations, we won't consider as a capital, we should consider it as an income. But if they are mentioned in the adjustment list, then we should consider as a capital or else we should treat it as an income only. So now, entrance fees, we should consider as an income, rent from use of hall. So the NPO has constructed one building, they are given for rent basis. If we issue the rent basis, it is income to us. Donations, so for this there is an adjustment number for what they are saying that donations are to be capitalized, so it is a liability. Sale of old newspaper income, so sale of old newspaper, so it will be considered as an income. And life membership fees we should consider as an income in this question. Why is they didn't even the information about the adjustments, okay. Next, come to the payment side. General expenses, it is a payment. Salary expenses, so it is a expenses. Postage expenses, electricity charges expenses, 
furniture, I say, where they are to wrote? Balance sheet. Books, I say, we will wrote in the balance sheet. Newspapers, expenses, meeting expenses, expenses. Sir. TV set, TV, television, it is an electronic device, it is a fixed asset. So, we will write in the balance sheet. Balance carried down. So, it will be considered as a cash, it will come to the balance sheet only. Like this, we have to classify the transaction. Let's come to discuss about the remaining thing, adjustment. So, in the adjustment, they are given subscription outstanding 31st March 2020. That means present year outstanding subscription they are given. First, we should consider as an income, and again, we should have shown to the balance sheet and then assets. Incomes plus we should add it to the subscription and later on this will be considered as an asset. It is income to the company. Outstanding salary, present year outstanding salary, expenditure and balance sheet liabilities because it is the expenses. Depreciate furniture and books. So this is a new adjustment for you people. So in bracket they are given only on opening values. Opening values means the value which is available in the 2019 that is opening value. 2020 any value will be available but that will be considered as a purchasing value or additional value. In the question they are given that only on opening values we can actually calculate the depreciation only on these values, not for the additional values. It will be considered as a purchases. But no need to calculate depreciation. Why is we are given the specifically the adjustment? If this thing is not given, this we should write directly. Both the values we should calculate the depreciation. Old furniture and new furniture we have to calculate the depreciation. Old books also we should calculate the depreciation. And the new books also we have to calculate the depreciation. Therefore, no need to classify this one because they will be in an adjustment. So, first expenses, we find out the depreciation and later on balance sheet, we should deduct from the balance sheet, our original value. Next adjustment number four, it says the donations are to be capitalized, so it is a liability, it is come to the balance sheet only. Electricity charges paid in advance it is nothing but prepaid, already we have paid. Therefore, so expenses minus balance sheet as a slide we have to record it. So finally, what we have to do? We have to prepare income and expenditure account as well as the balance sheet as on 31st March 2020 they are given. So let's we have to move to prepare the income and expenditure account from the following information. Let's we have to draw the accounts for income and expenditure account. First, in the middle of the page or in the middle of your class one, you people have to mention the name of NPO. According to this question, the name of NPO is Union Club. Union Club. After that, we have to write all that the income and expenditure. Expenditure account as on 31st March 2020. 2020 is the present year for us. So we will draw the columns for income and expenditure account as on 31st March 2020. Expenditure amount 
and incomes account. This is the columns for preparation of income and expenditure account of Union Sports Club. The information they are given clearly. We have to mention the Union Sports Club. So here the information is that first in the expenditure side we have to record the transaction which are converted from the payment side. What the transactions are in payment side that will be recorded in the expenditure side. So first two transaction they are given by general expenses is there now we have to write two general expenses expenses. The value of general expenses is 900 rupees. For the sake of general expenses, there is no adjustment. So we should write directly 900 rupees as a general expenses. After general expenses, they are given by salary. We should convert it into to salary. To salary. The value of salary they are given 16,000. We should write in the inner column. Why we should write in the inner column is because the salary will have two adjustments. One is under adjustment number two. And one more adjustment where it is available is in the previous balance sheet of 2019 under liability side they are given the outstanding salary. For this salary we have to add outstanding salary. In bracket we have to mention that the first March 2020 adjustment number two. What the value they are given that we have to note here. Sixteen thousand plus one thousand we have to get seventeen thousand rupees as a salary. For this minus we should deduct minus outstanding in bracket mention that the first March 2019 that is one thousand. 17 minus 1, again we have to get 16,000 is the salary. So we have to write 16,000, but we have to show the adjustment what we have to do. What we have not to do. So 16 plus 7, 17,000. Out of 17, again we have to get 1,000. We will get 16,000 only is the salary. Next, postage. So postage. So for this postage, no adjustment is there. We should write directly to postage. Postage. The value of postage is 1300 rupees. 1300 rupees is the value of postage. After that, so they are given electricity charges. We will write here to electricity charges. So we should write this one electricity charges that is 7800 in the inner column only. Why we should write in the inner column means for this there is an adjustment, adjustment number 5 is there. So we have to adjust that one. So what we are going actually present here electricity charges is 7800. But the NPO already paid some amount. What is that amount? Is 650 rupees they are paying in amount. So that 650 we have to detect it from 7800 and later on we have to show in the remaining balance. So we have to detect minus prepaid. We are not receiving, we are paying prepaid 650 rupees. We are paying, therefore, we have to get 7150 is actual expenses incurred by this NPO. After that, what they are given? Furniture is there that belongs to our balance sheet, books that belongs to balance sheet and one more thing, newspapers that is expenses, two newspapers. The value is 600 rupees. After newspapers what they are given? Meeting expenses, two meeting, meeting expenses. 7,200 meeting expenses 7,200 after that TV set is there that is fixed as a after that balance carried on is there that is also belongs to the new balance sheet only let's come to the income side 
So income side some transactions they are given under the receipt that we have to carry forward here. So under income side the first transaction is to balance brought down. We won't consider why this it is carry forward from the previous year. Next to subscription, so that is the income we should write by subscription. By subscription value is seventy five thousand is the value of subscription in the present year. For this subscription, last year also outstanding is there. Present year also outstanding is there. So last year outstanding we should deduct and present year outstanding we should add it. So therefore, add outstanding subscription subscription in bracket two thousand twenty. So the value which is given is the adjustment number one, ten thousand, seventy-five thousand plus ten thousand we will get eighty-five thousand is the actual subscription. In this actual subscription, last year outstanding will be there. The previous have to consider only present, not past, not future. So we should deduct minus outstanding subscription. Where it is available means in the old balance sheet, in the year 2019, and the asset side they are given. So actually, that whole outstanding subscription is 3,600. Therefore, 84,000. 84,000. Sorry, 81,400. 81,000. Four hundred rupees is the present year actual income to the company to the this NPO. After that, what they are given? Subscription is over. Two entrance fees is there. We should write by entrance fees. Entrance fees. So entrance fees is how much? Two thousand rupees. So it will be considered as income because. Is new already existing in new means it is a liability. Existing means it is a income. Next one, rent by rent from hall hall. We have to get the income of seven thousand rupees. After that, donations is there that belongs to the liabilities. Next one, sale of old newspaper by Sale of old newspapers. So actually, we have to receive rupees four hundred as a income. Next, after that, what they are given? Life membership fees by life membership fees. So what is the value? Seven thousand three hundred rupees is the life membership fees. So these are the transactions which we have to carry forward from receipts and payments account. Now let's we have to do the adjustments. Any one adjustment has left means we should consider here. Adjustment number one, what it will say? Outstanding subscription for the year thirty first March two thousand twenty. They are given. We should add it here. One more time. We will take to later. Second adjustment. What they are given? Second adjustment. What they are given? So outstanding salary is given. We should consider here one thousand rupees. And later we have to consider it to the assets. Leave. Second adjustment. Third adjustment. Depreciate furniture and books at ten percent. On only opening values, opening values which are given in the old balance sheet, depreciation is the expenses we will write here to depreciation. Depreciation. We should underline this one. First, furniture. Furniture. The value of furniture which is available in the old balance sheet is twenty six thousand. Sorry, two thousand six hundred into ten percent. We get two sixty rupees. 
and also books 6200 into 10 percent they are given 620 rupees we have to get adjustment number three adjustment number four donations are to be capitalized adjustment number five electricity charges paid rupees 650 already we have to deduct it from the expenses prepaid now it's time to close the income and expenditure account just you have to also fix it we have a highest value so according to this question we have a highest value on the layer credit side only that is 98,100 98,100 so we have a more income than expenses so after deduction this we have to get one value that difference will be considered as a 64,070 for this we will give you two excess of incomes over expenditure in profit information surplus surplus is nothing but profit only so my dear students like this we have to calculate the income preparation of income and expenditure account okay let's we have to move to the preparation of balance sheet of present year that is 31st march 2020 what the new balance sheet is there that we have to prepare here but the new balance sheet is totally based on the Old balance sheet preparation of old balance sheet. Next, we have to draw the columns for new balance sheet. For the balance sheet, we should write down the columns. Liabilities, amount, assets, amount. Liabilities, amount, and assets, amount we have to write. So, under liabilities, we have to write down the contents from the previous balance sheet only. So, the first content in the previous balance sheet is capital fund. Capital fund. The uh, this union sport club will have a capital fund of rupees thirty nine thousand nine hundred. Thirty nine thousand nine hundred. For this capital fund, we have to add one value, which is the value donation. Add donation. Donations. The value of donation is ten thousand. Ten thousand. Apart from this, we should add one more value, which is the value is in the previous income and expenditure. Only we will get the difference on the debit side. If we get the difference on the debit side, this we should add it. If we get the difference on the credit side, this we should deduct from capital fund. So add. Surplus. Surplus. We will get sixty-four thousand seventy rupees. Sixty-four thousand seventy rupees. While we adding these three, we have to get one lakh thirteen thousand one lakh thirteen thousand nine hundred and seventy rupees. We have to get. 
this is about from the old balance sheet next come to the asset side in the old balance sheet the first content what they are given cash in hand here also we should write cash in hand but the value of cash which we have to consider with in the receipts and payments account at the end they are given balance carry account that will be considered as a cash the cash is 15900 15900 this is the first transaction they are given in the assets after the asset they are given books books the value of books is 6200 rupees we should write in the inner column and for this add purchases here purchases means the value which is available in the receipts and payments account the books they are given so 13000 when we the total is 19000 200 rupees is the value of books for this we should minus depreciation already we should calculate it 620 rupees 19200 minus 620 rupees will get 18580 18580 rupees is the present value of books which is available in our NPO after books we will write furniture Furniture. The value of furniture is 2600 which is available in the old balance sheet. But again we have to purchase and purchase. So where the purchase value is available? Purchases value is available in the receipts and payments account of receipt side. Payment side they are given. So the value of final purchase is 26500. 26,500 therefore we have to write 29,100 for this minus depreciation that already we should calculate it on the expenditure side 260 rupees is the depreciation by deducting this we have to get 28,800 40 rupees is the present value of furniture which is available in our NPO. After that, buildings. Buildings. For this, there is no adjustment. The building value is 25,000. So, these are the transactions which are available in the previous balance sheet. Let's come to the receipts and payments account. Under receipts and payments, upon payment side, any assets we are missing, which is that one, one asset is missing that is PV set. The value of PV set is 16,000. So, in the payment and receipt side, no other liabilities we are missing, all the liabilities we should consider here only. So, let's come to the adjustments. Some adjustment we should write in twice. Some adjustment we write in once. So, which is the adjustment we have to left? First, we have to consider. First adjustment number one, what it will say? Outstanding subscription for the year 31st part 2020. First, we should consider as an income, again, we should consider as an assets. We will write outstanding subscription 10,000. Next, adjustment number two, it will say that outstanding salary it is a expenses. Again, it will be considered as a liability. We will write outstanding salary. One thousand. One thousand. After that, adjustment number three, depreciation furniture and books. We should consider depreciation on furniture, depreciation on books, both we should be transferred. So once we should consider the expenses, another time we should be deducted from the balance sheet completely. Adjustment number four, what it will say? Donations are to be capitalized. We should add it to the capital completely. 
last and foremost adjustment they are even so pre pay electricity bill first it should be considered as a expenses we should deduct it here and again it should be considered as a asset we will write pre pay electricity bill electricity charges are bill value is 650 rupees now we are all fulfill all the conditions we are all transfer all the transaction now it's time to make a total of this total of the balance sheet we will get the total value so how much will we get that we have to consider here so therefore first here 1 lakh 13 plus 1 One lakh fourteen thousand nine seventy. One lakh fourteen thousand nine seventy. Same here. One lakh fourteen thousand nine hundred seventy rupees. One lakh fourteen thousand nine seventy. So like this, we have to prepare the accounting for incomplete records. Sorry, accounting for not for profit organizations. My dear students. i think you people have been understood very well with the this question so like this questions only will be have but some little bit difference adjustments will be there that everything we have to discuss in our next video itself so in this video if you people have any doubts means you can directly contact me i will solve your doubts related to the chapter so any chapter still we have to complete it all the chapters so all the chapters we have to discuss in their excel okay thank you everyone if you have any doubts you can directly contact me just you have to once again read the question observe the question and finally you have to write down the solution